Hello right bags, it's Jade with another Subnautica Below Zero Little Guide. Today is out now, Xbox, PlayStation, Switch and PC, full game after two years of early access and for the first time console players will get a chance to play it. So I'm going to show you how to get diamonds today, I'm going to show you how to get a fairly early game, maybe one, two or if you're really brave about 20 and then I'm going to show you a mine that's got rubies, lithium and prawn suit and upgrades. So you may need a high capacity O2 tank for this one and maybe a rebreather. But if you're really skilled at the game, you may not necessarily need even that lot. But there are a couple key features you will need, like the bladder and the sea glide. So make sure you've liked. For more Subnautica Below Zero content, make sure you're subscribed for the home of survival games, news, guides and opinion. And let me guide you through how to get rich in Subnautica. So head over to somewhere with the twisty bridges. And it's more or less a circle going around a central island in this case. I am going down this way. You should see a small part of like the uh, sea truck there which you can scan. And then you're looking for this little arch. And very, very close to it is this location where you will get the uh, oxygen tank, the more advanced one. And once you've got that, you can pretty much go down all the way to the bottom and you're going to find diamonds. But keep going keep going we're not done yet let's go around just keep swimming right around we're looking for one more platform now because this next platform is gonna have the next part which you, you kind of maybe would need and it's going to be the the rebreather obviously you will see lots of oxygen plants as well scrub them too I mean if you're really adept at this you could get used to doing it and you might actually be able to do this just by living off the oxygen plants and with the most basic of tanks. But it is pretty tough. I've tried doing it a bunch of times and it is definitely doable. But anyway, this is where you get the rebreather from. But here we go. We're going down. We're going down, people. So you're looking for one of these holes and you'll pretty much find diamonds are in your grasp. As long as you don't go too deep. If you go too deep, you will start running into like the squid sharks and stuff like that. Make sure you get some more, more air. Um, but you're looking along here, you're looking along these cliff platforms, obviously they're random spawns so I can't guarantee it's going to be exactly the right location every time but you should find at least one or two diamonds. So I'm going to go and get some more air because we might as well and obviously aerogels too, that's what we need for quite a lot of the advanced gear as well. So let's hopefully we can find some, there we go, there's one. So yeah I'm not saying it's guaranteed. But yeah, they should all be in this location, uh, more or less. If you have any problems, just come back, keep going down, and eventually, hopefully, some might spawn. Um, I don't actually know if they respawn or if it's associated with seeds, to be honest. But is there any more? Yeah, no, we don't want to be too deep down there, because that's where, that's where Squidworth lives. So yeah, you won't get loads, but you'll get enough, at least, to maybe build the laser cutter. Uh, maybe a few other key important things. Uh, it's just about taking a good look and not panicking, really. That's why you probably need at least one upgrade. As I said, you could try doing this without, but it is gonna be a bit of a challenge. It is, I ain't gonna lie. So you'll find at least two or three diamonds, or you should do if you're exploring all throughout these zones. There's obviously plenty of other resources down here. There's some other stuff you can scan. I don't even know what that one is. Sea truck fragment, of course it is. So obviously we're starting to run out. Now this is where the sea bladder comes in. You've got to use this to get up really high, really quickly. Uh, don't do it when you're in there because you'll find you'll hit the ceiling and you can get stuck. But that's going to take you pretty much all the way up to the ceiling. And Oxygen. there you go. No panic. Now let's switch over to the high capacity one. And let's see what a big difference that is when I've got so much more oxygen in me. It should be 135. Again, obviously make sure that you are getting some other bits of oxygen as you can. If you're struggling to get this piece as well, just aim for where Alan is. Like I said, it's in almost in a circle, but we're kind of just aiming for these chasms right at the bottom. See the crystal, and that is not what we want. We don't want the crystal, we want the diamonds, the diamond life. Uh, some sort of PDA here. I might as well grab it while we're here. I'll grab another one of them. Is there any more aerogels? That would be nice too. I'm going to take my time a bit more now because I was kind of frantically running around. But you should find some more spawns. They can be a bit sneaky. Maybe inside here a little bit more or some oxygen at least. And it does seem relatively safe in this zone. Don't know what kind of plant that is. But.
that one there. Okay, I'm on. Where's the diamonds? Show me the diamonds. There we go. There's another one or two. Obviously, I ain't lying. It's going to be hit and miss because they do spawn in different locations. But you get the idea. Persist long enough around here and you will eventually find some and hopefully some more aerogels. And to be fair, once you've got the diving apparatus, the correct diving apparatus, it's a lot easier. But this is like the nearest spot that you'll find diamonds. I don't think there's anywhere closer that you'll actually get some. So yeah, it's a good way to come. And actually, the deeper we'll go in, I can see there's a lot more now, especially these gel sacks. So I'm being really stupid or really brave, depending on how you look at things and grabbing as much of this as I can. We're pretty deep here as well. You could bring your, uh, obviously, sea truck. If you've got that far, made the sea truck beforehand. Um, but I feel like you probably need a diamond, maybe, to also craft and make some of that stuff too. I'm getting another one of them. And once you're down right at the bottom, they are dangerous and you have got to swim away from them. But it's not totally, totally unavoidable to get away from them and just pick up a shit ton of diamonds. Even got ourselves some lithium too. Any more lithium? Yeah, oh, there's more diamonds, that's for sure. More lithium, diamond hall, lithium, lithium, diamonds. Oh my god, it's the mother load. It is the actual mother load. Okay, we could probably do with one oxygen plant now before I head up. Get a few more aerogels as well. Ah! Ah! I'm panicking slightly, ain't gonna lie. I don't know if I'll make it. I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy. There we go. We'll get an oxygen plant. I'm going to go back up top. I lied. Oh, one more. One more air gel. Make it worth it. Ah! 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 It got me, mum. It got me. Okay, don't worry. They're dangerous, but, you know, it's it's not the end of the world. Um, Now we've got aim for the chasms. And to be honest, you can't really go wrong. Once we've got a clear avenue of escape... Which we can see, there's loads of other resources which you can grab as well. Oh, there's another diamond sea on the walls. Loads of them. Loads of them. Oh, that's no, quartz. A lad. A lad. A lad. And make sure we get out. Is that a diamond or is that quartz? It's quartz. Okay, here we go. I love this bit. It's my favourite bit. Can you believe that I've never used air bladders before? I never used them in the original game. I felt they were kind of useless because I always had the sea glide. But now I kind of get it. Now I realise they're OP. And that's going to get you up to some much needed oxygen. Okay, this next one, you're going to have to find a delta base. Now this does pop up fairly early. So it shouldn't be too much problem getting here. But obviously you may definitely need the sea truck. There's a lot of dangerous creatures. And you are pretty much going to have to hot tail it. That said, as long as you don't veer off too far around the wrong side of the island. You'll only run into some creatures that won't necessarily harass you and grab hold of your ship. Mine's a bit banged up because I did just run into a chest late because I went round the wrong way. But effectively, you're going to be going sort of south, southwest, until you hit the Delta Station dock. Once you reach here, you need to go to the right-hand side of the island, so pretty much to, again, more of a western approach. Now, stick in touch with the shoreline. Don't go too deep because you'll get confused. We're basically looking for a special place in these vents that's going to take us down to the mine uh, shaft or where the mines are. Uh, they're the guys. They are big. They're noisy. They get pretty disinterested with you. They'll make some thrashing noises. They may even chase you, but after a while, they get bored themselves and they'll just pretty much piss off. It's the chest lakes that you really got to worry about. And I'm probably saying that wrong. But yeah, just keep keep the coastline to your left. And eventually, you'll notice there's a quite a bigger drop-off. Now, it's quite a, quite a way around. I ain't going to lie. So make sure you've got enough food. You've got enough water. Make sure you've got a bladder. Make sure you've got maybe a storage chest as well. Because it'd be a good idea to have somewhere where you could just put some resources and then come back to it. So you can see there's quite a sharp drop off. It looks pretty dark down there. And you can see we're about, we're about what, 350 metres away. But we're still on sort of the western side of the island if we was looking out. Then go down. So like I said, it's a big drop-off. You can kind of tell there's a drop-off. There's some lights and stuff, so you, you can see there's something happening. There's something here. It's leading down the way. There's some rock thumpers. Go all the way down. 
and you'll notice there's a bunch of crates all sorts of technology you'll find loads of fragments of stuff as well but this is what we're looking for the mother load now again if you haven't got the depth charge you can't go further than 150 but this is just about perfect because this is going to be the mine shaft where you get so many resources it's now called the copper mining shaft or the copper mining site so like i said make sure you take a storage unit with you leave it here just come back and forth dumping stuff into it so you've got plenty of space and you can take what you want with a bit more time rather than panicking that you've not got enough stuff on you so obviously you'll find lots and lots of gear like silver ore and of course it's a big spot where you'll find the prawn suit uh, fragments now if you bring the prawn suit down here that is even more advisable because there are huge deposits of resources that you can get using the actual thingy but here you go got a ruby if you wanted it i'm gonna just drop the stuff that i had too much of uh and yeah you can see these doors and stuff you can't really go through any of them there are some enemies the rock thumpers can be a bit a bit challenging if you get too close to them there's a big old deep mine shaft look there you go there's a resource that you will be able to get with obviously your uh, your special mining drill arm if you've got that far advanced and you haven't already found this place but otherwise it's just a really good spot to come for lots of rubies and stuff you may even find them on the roof tiles i've noticed some in the past spawn here so bring your mineral detector if you've got one but otherwise like i said if it's fairly early game then this is just another spot where you can come for lots and lots of goodies now we're going to go all the way down just to show you a bit more. I do love my bladder fish. I always bring it with me. My bladder, uh, bladder merciful. And again, look, there's plenty of like resources and stuff. Can't remember if there's too many unlocks. I think there is a few vital ones. No air down here, but don't worry, there is a plant down this way. There you go. There's one on the left hand side. So yeah, you'll get used to it. It is a bit of a challenge, but I reckon you guys can do it. It's definitely maybe a bit more advanced. There we go. What's this one? This is the thermal plant fragment. Boom. And we've got rubies, more rubies, and more stuffs. Go that way. And you can see there's all sorts of good stuff in this location. And that is pretty much it. Now there's a bunch of upgrades, prawn suit stuff. I'm going to do that in a separate video because I want to show you how to get all the upgrades for the prawn suit in one go and show you the best place to get all the fragments there is some other places where you might be able to get it a little bit quicker a little bit easier um, before coming down here otherwise yeah this is still a good location to find all them and i don't really want to conflate this video anymore and make it any longer than it has to be so come here to get your rubies get your diamonds get your lithium as well as maybe some extra upgrades and go to that first spot i showed you to really get going in the beginning stages hope this video has been helpful if it has let me know make sure you're liking it leave me a comment if there's any other tips you've got and I'll see you for more subnautica below zero guides very soon.